course I'd like to live. And it will be devastating to my family and loved ones if I'm executed. I think that I have still have something to offer to this life. It wasn't like I had had a life of, of antisocial acting out, which culminated in the death of Officer Oplanado. I had been a, a, an honor student who, who um, scored the highest score that had ever been scored on the SAT for people, applicants to plan to at that time. I'm still demoralized to have been responsible, responsible for an act that was a betrayal of everything that I never believed in or, or aspired to be. Uh, uh, I'm still humbled by the Bruised, bruised by the criminal justice process and humbled by the verdicts. I guess the question I'm asking myself is how much pain is, is sufficient for, for uh, uh, to, 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 to achieve redemption uh, in the aftermath of, of irreparable damage. And I don't guess you can ever achieve redemption. The traditional justifications for the uh, death penalty are retribution and deterrence. It's hard to imagine what further deterrent uh, 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 effect would be, be achieved by, by an execution 32 years after the fact. 32 years ago, I was responsible for an enormously evil act. And it must have affected most or all people that lived in Austin and their level of comfort and the way that they saw themselves and their neighbors. No apology I could give would be powerful enough to express my regret.